Yeah, oh, man. probably shouldn't hold people accountable to that when they say. <laughs> <laughs> I did have, I told this story on the podcast before, but I did have one guy at my last job. Uh, we had to let him go. And as I was walking him to his car, uh, I told him like, hey, man, you're a really smart dude, though. I'm sure you'll land on your feet. He's like, oh, yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> he, was, <laughs> like he was just completely confident about it. He's like, oh, yeah, I have no problem yeah. <laughs> cool. That's a great, great attitude. <laughs> awesome attitude. Yeah. Awesome. We are lost. <laughs> that's like if you're, in, you're standing in front of a judge for sentencing and he hands out life and you're like, that's it? You know, like, okay, that's the best okay. you can do. That's the best that's you the can do. <laughs> you gotta be like, that guy has some concrete balls, dude. <clears throat> Confidence on that guy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of confidence, um, I want to share the story that I found on the news. Um, this story is about a man in Cape Cod that got swallowed by a whale. Has anybody I heard about saw that? that? Yes, I saw <clears throat> that. How I hilarious! I haven't really heard about it, but is tell me about it. Is he still alive? Still alive. Still alive. Actually, you have the clip mm -hmm. here. Give me a second to pull it up. The clip. Okay. Oops. What just happened? Skip this ad. Oh, what happened? What happened? Oh, no. What happened? I think it's this one. Yeah. The whales embrace. Oh, Wait, no, I don't think that's whales it hugging. <laughs> Sorry about that. Actually, I think it's right here. This is the one I have. There we go. <laughs> Michael Packard came home from the hospital Friday afternoon with one incredible story to tell. And I just felt this truck hit me. And everything just went dark. He was lobster diving off the coast of Provincetown when the world around him suddenly blacked out. Just thought, did I just get eaten by a white shark? And, and then I said, no, I don't feel any teeth. And I said, oh my God, I'm in the mouth of a whale with his mouth shut. Seconds later, he realized he was in serious trouble. To make things even worse, he couldn't find the regulator for his oxygen tank and he had no way to escape. Am I just gonna like run out of air and suffocate? Yeah. Is he gonna swallow me? That's when he thought about his family. And I'm like, this is how you're gonna go, Michael. This is how you're gonna die in the mouth of a whale. His son Jacob was in school at the time and got a text from his mother. Yeah, your, your dad was, was diving and a whale just, I don't know, attacked him, ate him. The humpback whale eventually spit him out after about 30 or 40 seconds. And I just got thrown out of his mouth into the water, it was just white water everywhere. And I just was laying on the surface floating. That doesn't seem like a long time, but try telling that to someone who almost became a whale's hot lunch. Oh my gosh. That's oh, amazing. The story is even, that's the story. The, 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 this report is even better than the story. <laughs> oh man. That guy. He looked like he was he that was that was probably the most realistic depiction of what a person really felt like in those moments as opposed to like after the fact and you think about it and you think about your brave moments he still looked like he was still stressed about it yeah he still looked that, like that he was, was in that great. well like that was yes. awesome. <clears throat> yeah he's still Man. probably in there's a part of him still in that well in that way you probably, he's probably right like on. real talk man so the first the first thing that came to mind was um the story from the bible and i was like dang Every now and then, yeah. something happens from the Bible. You're just like, okay, maybe it wasn't as crazy. <laughs> he got swallowed by a fish and, and then he came out. Um, but then what made it crazier was I found another article of a guy who got swallowed like 97 years ago around the same area. Um, but except for when he got swallowed, the, sh the well was um, harpooned shortly after on some other independent, like, 
harpooning. So this guy got swallowed and some other person harpooned the whale and the whale washed up on the um, sea. And they went to kind of basically, you know, break up the whale and take what they could from it. And they found the dude in there three days later. So I was like, still alive? Still alive, right? This still was alive. alive. He was still alive. So when I was watching that, thinking like, I don't get to hear what that guy 97 years ago went through, but that has, I mean, that's pretty close, man. He, he actually had time to think what type of thing swallowed him. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Let me run through the list. Shark. No teeth. No teeth. Dolphin. No teeth. Dolphin. Oh, cool. yeah. But just suppose you are three days in the stomach of a whale. Three days. Three days. That's crazy. And you, you're not spit out. You know, which made it kind of funny that this guy got spit out because no. seconds in. that means like the whale had a, a level of intelligence, right? Like they're intelligent. They're like, this guy's bitter. <laughs> Get out of my mouth! Like it's like hair in his mouth. He's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> the hair. <type. laughs> it's like, must have been the oxygen bottle. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Or he spit him out, but kept the oxygen bottle in his. You know? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna take. Yeah, that's gonna take some time for him to process that. It's yeah. also wild Ooh. that the well essentially snuck up on him. Something yeah. that large. Yeah. He didn't see coming. Yeah. He, didn't see <laughs> he didn't see the well at all. No, my favorite. I think one of my 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 favorite supporting character in this story is the mom who calls her kid at school who can do absolutely nothing about it. Hey, you know your dad got eaten by a whale. I'm in geometry. Why are you following me? Mom, you you're, gonna, you're gonna you're gonna get me killed here. They're gonna make fun of me for years. Why did you call? Me? Tell me that. Like, oh. how would it? Like, he tells the teacher, like, I gotta go. My dad <laughs> got eaten by. A <laughs> we we cut to that class. Um, <laughs> okay, the kids trying to get out of class and go home. Um, excuse me, Mrs. Brown. Uh, yes. Mr. Brown. Yes, John. Yes, yes. I just got. We have, a, we have 15 minutes left. You can complete the test, please. No more. No, no interruption. <clears throat> okay, listen. This is going to sound really crazy, and I promise. Uh huh. I've heard studied, it all. I've studied for this test. Now, you could go through mm -hmm. and look at my answers right now. Mm -hmm. They're probably mm -hmm. all correct. Mm -hmm. But I just so happen to look at my phone during the test. Mm -hmm. I saw a text from my mother. And I opened it, and it said that my dad got swallowed by a whale. So I got to go home right now because we don't know what we're going to do. Don't know if – I don't know what kind now, of condition my father's in. John, let me stop you there. I've heard all sorts of excuses. I've been teaching for 35 years. This is a first for me, but I still don't believe it. I mean, quite inventive. But I still don't believe it. Those I mean, kinds it, of things it, don't happen ever. My mom, look, it's my mom on the phone. I could call her right now. You want me to call How do her? I know you didn't get a friend of yours to send that text Just, under the guise of your mother? There's, John, have a seat. You have 15 more minutes in class. This is this is not, I don't no, believe this. I, I, I cannot it. finish my test. My dad is in the stomach of a whale. Okay? I don't know what's going on. I don't. I don't know what's going to happen in my life. I'd like for you to sit down and all of the thoughts that you're having, your emotions, you've got 15 minutes to think about them because I'm not going to let you out of this class any sooner. You can finish the test or not, but I will not have any interruptions. I you will sit down and just wait until class is over, until the test is over. Okay, okay, look, look, look at Twitter. Even Twitter is talking about it. My dad is on Twitter. He got swallowed by a well and it's viral. We, okay. we cut to... 15, 20 minutes later, he finally gets out of class. He's he's in his car, he's driving, he gets pulled over <laughs> for speeding. All right, young man. All right, young man. Now, what is the big hurry? You know that this is a 35 and you were doing 50. I'm gonna need to see some license and registration. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna reach down in my pocket and get it, my wallet. All right, do it slowly. Um in the meantime, sir, um, 
I know you probably hear a lot of crazy stuff. I heard it all. <laughs> but if you are on Twitter and Facebook, I'm sure you've seen the viral video of a whale swallowing, swallowing a dude on the coast, right? That guy is my dad. I'm trying to get oh, to okay. okay. I'm trying to get to my mom right now. She is just livid, man. She's already an anxious person. Isn't it test day at the school? Isn't it test day? Are you trying to get out of a test, young man? No, no. I just finished my geometry test. You could you could check my home my stuff in the back. It's done. Okay. I, I'm I'm just trying to get home to my mom and figure out what's going on with my dad. He's in a he's in a he's in a whale right now. Oh, he's in a whale, and you're gonna go hurry home to go get him out of that whale. Is that what you're telling me? That's why you got to drive all fast. <laughs> yes, not in so many ways, but yes, I have to get home. I mean, I don't even know what my dad is doing. I don't know if he's still alive. We, we get, have uh, seen at home with the mother. Hey, mom. Hi, honey. Sorry. How was the test? I mean, it was a test. You know, I just... <laughs> <laughs> it's not as more important than dad right now who's in the belly of a Yeah, horse. I'm just Googling uh, how to get out of a whale. Okay. There are, there are more options if it's a female whale, <laughs> but we are not sure about this. They still don't know if it's a female or a male yet, mom? No, not yet, honey. Your father has his uh, mobile with him. Oh, he's been texting you. Yeah, but the connection is, is not perfect. Uh, I've been texting back. Uh, I think he, he's lost. Five minutes later, the phone goes at home. Hello? Honey? Hi? It's me. It's Dad. Okay, where are you? Oh, shit. Uh, is I'm that Dad? Here. My my phone, my, my mobile phone is there, but there was a phone, another phone here. Probably from the guy well, uh, 20 years it's, ago. It's my phone. It's my phone. We're, I'm in the well, too. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I said we're sharing the phone. Honey, is yeah. there someone there with you? Yes, Hi. yes. I, I made a friend here. In the, it, It's fun. It, it's so much fun here. Um, honey, my name is Fran. It, it's Fred? It's my name Fred. is Francis. Francis. Tell her I said hi. Hi, hi, Francis says okay. hi. Honey, honey, uh, the, the kid is here. So do you remember the, the cartoon Pinocchio when yes. they were in the stomach of, of the whale? There must be a boat somewhere there. You have to find the boat. Francis, have you seen the boat here? Uh, the boat? Uh, let me see. I think it was... Uh, yeah, yeah, there's one over here. There's one over here. Uh, we take 20 to, seconds. We we cut to outside of a comedy club. Amici, that guy that told the story about being swallowed by a whale, that was funny as heck, man. The fact man, that, that he so didn't know he was gonna live. I know. Mm -hmm. That was a great show. But I don't I don't know if I don't I don't know if it was worth my 401k or my retirement though. I mean, I don't know if I just <laughs> take that. Yeah, pretty pricey, but <laughs> That's the price of comedy these, these days, you know? It's so, it's, it's so expensive know. to see a good show yeah. making a lot from the beginning to the end. I know. We should have. We probably should have ordered a car or something. I didn't know we were going to take your car, and now we got to walk back, man. It's a long we, walk home. We got the Tandy meeting where we're counting the next day. Uh, so a horse walks into a bar, and uh, you're going to have to file for bankruptcy. Oh, no. <laughs> and scene. And that is a can't tell us nothing show, Yay! everybody. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Thank you yes. so much. Oh my God. Gohan from the sudden knot. Thank wow, you. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Let people yeah. know where they can find out more about you and your show and what you do. We are very active on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Just, if you just search for the sudden knot. Um, on Facebook, you will find us. And that's yeah, K N O T, right? Like yeah. not. Of a, of a yes, not. I yeah. Not. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. this is beautiful. This just shows me that improv is an international language. We all get it. We <laughs> improv. You can go anywhere. This is. I, I was afraid at first, but now I know. Thank you. <laughs> I think. I think we all. I, know. Yeah. I can go anywhere. 
I think yeah. we all speak a common language. Yeah, yeah. We all have improvisers all over the world. We, we speak the same language, and that's so great. Yes. Oh, <laughs> this is fantastic. Beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you so much for having us, too. It was uh, really awesome. <clears throat> yeah, it was awesome. Uh, it was fun. fun. All yeah. right, DJ Comfy, get yeah. those tunes ready. We'll play us out. C Tun Improv, all the places you can see it below. C Tun Improv, just Google that. C T U N Improv. But for John, for Tandy, for Michi, and for myself, Antoine, that's the Can't Tell Us Nothing show. For Desi and Johan, thank you again for joining us. It was great, a lot of fun. We got to do it again. But we are out. Shout out to those who told me Toby was a 